Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Bengal, where we're at war with the Auto Turks. We're crushing them because we have a bunch of allies in the war. Austria has also declared war, and we've destroyed the Ottoman navy, and their army is running like scared little chickens. Oh, it's good times, man. It's good times. This is way better than the first war and the second war with the Ottomans. This one's uh, much more smooth. I like that. I like that a lot. We uh, separate peace out of a war that France has started against Spain because for some reason he just doesn't want to peace out. Spain's at 20 war exhaustion, which is the maximum war exhaustion, and France just gives no fucks. I don't know why he's not piecing out of that war. He's at 77 war score. He should peace out, but he's not doing it. But I had to peace out of it because it was giving me tons and tons and tons of exhaustion, and we currently have a looming disaster because our war exhaustion is so high, and that's all because of France. France is just being an idiot. So we're going to have to... Um, oh, good, cores are coming in. We're going to have to get rid of our war exhaustion so that we can prevent the looming disaster from actually triggering. This episode today should be the peace deal with the Auto Turks. We're looking at something around 95, 97, 100 uh, war score for the peace deal. So hopefully that'll happen uh, in our favor, obviously. And it seems to be a pretty easy war at this point. We just need to keep our our heads cool and we should be fine. I will try to separate piece Tunis at some point here because that'll just remove a lot of the Ottomans resistance to piecing out. Anyway, keep relations up with our allies. And Scotland and maybe the USA. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, don't even have a diplomat. Come on home, diplomats. We had an alliance with the USA for a while, and then we got rid of it. Because he was pretty useless. How are you sneaking by me? He is somehow sneaking troops by me, and I don't know how. It's infuriating. It's maddening. It's John Maddening. Get out of here. Go die. You, you die now. You die now. Don't tell me you're going to retreat out of there. Don't you dare. Good. You squish now. Hey. Yay. Persian cores are coming in. That makes me feel good. Yeah. We do still have some considerable revolt risk in our provinces. But it's not that much. And I think if we just push our... What the fuck? If we just push our war exhaustion down, we'll be fine. How are we failing at 56%? Really? I mean, come on. Just stop failing at 56%, you know? Please? They'd be nice. Oh, fuck you, Tunis. Get out of here. And he got an end of the month tick. Of course he did. Of course, of course. He gets an end of the month tick. So he's not going to squish. <laughs> Ottomans dishonored their alliance with Tunis. Lol. Let's see if that's enough to push Tunis out of the war. Not even close. God damn it, Tunis. Such a jerk face. I'd say the war is going pretty well. Switzerland wants access, sure. And uh, we now have call for peace from this war, too. But he still won't give me 97%. Hmm. He'll do 86. I kind of want to get Huda Vendigar because it's an important center of trade, and that makes a big difference. And if I can, I want to get Coat Chali because that province... Uh, we'll isolate his capital, but he's not keen on it yet. 
Well, we'll see if he changes his tune after a couple more sieges, right? <laughs> Cuba has declared war on Japan again. Holy shit, Cuba. How many wars with Japan do you need before you give up? A lot, apparently. Hmm, he's trying to regroup down here. Not sure how it's going to go for him, but he's trying. I mean, 80 war score is a lot, but if we don't push his allies out of the war, we're never going to get, like, a really good peace deal. Kill was not interested at all. Yeah. But Tunis will probably peace out after after a little while. It's just a matter of... Maybe we should push him out by um, blockading him. Yeah. Well, after we kill this navy, we'll push Tunis out with a blockade. So Poland's going to siege this province down, and that's going to kick his navy out. Oh, God. Great. Yeah, political crisis. Thanks, game. Let's just lose... Whatever. Just lose all the stuff. I mean, who the fuck cares if we have anything, right? Let's just lose everything we have. Fuck it. Lose all the things. Yeah, just fuck it. Oh, good. We're under attack. Great. No, it's perfect. I love being under attack. There we go. 81 war score. No, not going to cut it. Yeah, if we push Tunis out of the war, he'll peace instantly. Tunis is the only thing keeping him in the war. Come on, dude. Give up. You know you've lost. There we go. Okay, good job, Poland. So this should be the last naval battle of the war. We'll get one end of the month tick to repair our ships. And then we'll go blockade Tunis, push him out of the war, and then we can peace out the Ottomans. Eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one. All right, we're healed. Let's go. We can't stay out on the Tunis coast for long because we take a lot of attrition out there. But we'll stay long enough to peace out. Come on! Sail faster! Taking attrition out here. Just trying to push you out of the war, Tunis. Don't mind me. Still no, huh? God damn it. Such a stubborn little bastard. And we're getting attacked. Great. Great. Perfect. Don't peace out or anything, Tunis. I hate you so much right now, Tunis. Ah, oh, he still won't peace out. You little shit, Tunis. Maybe after this battle? I'm taking too much attrition out here to stay long. Oh, come on. I'm going to lose that battle. Maybe. Okay, maybe we don't push Tunis out of the war. I'm going to lose that battle. Crap. Mega crap. Crap. 
Urgh. Frustrations. Oh, but look at that. They'll take the peace deal. Ah, oh, it's 101 war score. Hundred and one. Wonder if the cost will come down slightly if we just hold out for a bit. Maybe. I'm gonna hold out for a bit and see if the cost comes down to a hundred. Good, cores are rolling in. I like cores. Maybe we can take a cheaper province than this one. Nope, it's the cheapest one. God damn it. Maybe I just don't take it. I mean, who cares if we piss off Bulgaria, right? I mean, I sort of care. Hmm. Maybe I don't need this land over here. What if we skip that and we give more to Bulgaria? There you go. We'll do that. We'll give Bulgaria three provinces. I'll take these three here. We'll take the rest of this coastline later, but we'll get our Silk Province. We'll isolate his capital, and the next war we can take his capital. We don't even need it. In fact, this could be our last war with the Ottomans here, because we're getting the Huda Vendigar Silk, and we're also getting the Rock, the uh, Halep Silk. Yeah, this might be the last war with the Ottomans. All right, let's do it. Beautiful. All right, Syria, get in my belly. Bulgaria, looking good, man, looking good. Poland's happy because I gave him some clay. Muscovy, whatever. Scandinavia, whatever. France, whatever. What the, what the fuck, Mexico? <laughs> what the fuck, Mexico? Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> what are you doing, Mexico? That's awesome. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and core this shit. I don't think I want to leave any troops here. No, that's not true. I want to invade England next. England's next on the shit list, so I do need to leave some troops here. How many troops do you have, England? Be honest. England? England has 10 soldiers. Wow, really? That's it? Okay, well, I guess I'll leave, like, I don't know, how many transports do I have? Looks like I lost most of my transports here. That's too bad. Um, the thing is, I, I'm never going to get access to the Ottomans, so if I'm going if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm to take some Black Flag troops home, I should do it now. Uh, I guess I'll leave, like... 50 or 60 guys over here. I don't want to leave too many. I'll leave this many in here. And then the rest of us can go home. Okay. Back to peace, baby. Hey, Jarton, thanks for resubbing, man. 
Wow, 11 months in a row. Holy shit. Okay, you're gonna go back to patrolling. Oh, I can upgrade you, huh? 881 ducats to upgrade to great frigates. Beautiful. And your job is to patrol the Malacca nude. Right, you guys. Have you cored everything yet? Oh yeah, my vassal over here has cored everything. Beautiful. Let's pick you up. And let's go to here. You 16 soldiers can head to Persia. Now, you know what? I'm going to need some troops in China, aren't I? Yeah, we're going to have to beat up China some more. And Japan. But Japan should be a pushover. Bulgaria still has an army in Japan. That's hilarious. Japan should be a pushover. The rest of China could take some effort. So I guess what I can do is leave some troops in China. Let's leave some troops in China. Yeah, the next war is probably going to be against UA. Yeah, yep. We got our three claims here. We should beat them up. We have a claim on Chengdu. We need to beat him up. Yeah, UA is next on the shit list. All right. You know what we can do is we can take a lot of these ships to the New World. We need to transport some troops to USA so we can go eat Ojibwe. So that's what we'll use these troops for. We'll go eat England and Ojibwe. It'll be glorious. Okay, keep on plowing through our offensive ideas. This list of rebels is nuts. Reduce that war exhaustion, please. Oh, we can finally core Adirn. Yay! After all these years, we can finally core Adirn. Good times. Five troops. I think I left too many troops here, folks. Oh well. 24 transports. Is that really all I have? I mean, I guess it'll do. <clears throat> Alright, we'll spread out a bit. Supply limit 67, 66, 60, and 57. Alvar 13, thanks for subbing, man. 70 years left, I know, but I, I think we're on schedule to get this done. I think we're doing fine. I was concerned. About about 30 years ago, I was really concerned over whether we would get it done, but I think now we're doing just fine. I was really concerned, but I think it's fine. What missions are out there anyway? Protect, Indragiri, don't care. Overextension, Fortify Cape. Fortify Cape, that's a good one. Also, we can lower our maintenance on the army for a little while. The navy we have to keep supplying. Are we over our limit? No. The navy we have to keep supplying. Oh shit, we are way over our naval limit. Holy fuck, we're over our naval limit. But yeah, the navy we have to keep supplying because they need repairs. But England probably doesn't have that big of a navy. So maybe we can mothball our heavies. Let's see. England, England. If we can mothball the heavies, that's a, a really, really big discount for us. There we go. Yeah, he's got no heavies. Okay. Separate the heavies. Wait, 12. Oh, they're still coming to dock up. Okay. There you go. Those 60 heavies really did us well in that war. Mothball. So the fleet that we're going to take to England is pretty vast. 
pretty vast indeed. <clears throat> 32 transports. That should be plenty. He's only got 10 soldiers. Do I need to fabricate any more on UA, or are we good to go? One, two, three claims, that's fine. Four claims, that's fine. Five claims. We have five claims. We should be good to go on UA. But he does have some strong allies. That should be fine. We can beat all that. I don't need to beat up his allies, though. I can just uh, piece them out rather quickly. <clears throat> Japan has no allies. Maybe I should do that now. Japan, how many troops do you have? 35 troops. Eh. You can probably still beat them up pretty easily. But I guess there's no rush. We can do Japan a little later. There's, there's no rush. There's just none. No reason to push it. God, that's a big loan. Rivals, of course. Who can I set? France? Poland and Portugal and Scandinavia. I guess we'll do Portugal. I mean, I, I don't really want to rival my allies, so... Nah. Here you go. Have an embargo, dude. Enjoy. How long until these cores are in? Eh, a little while. Hello, Waffles. Are we Western? Yes, we are Western. It's really unfortunate you don't get any new units when you Westernize now. I mean, that was kind of like a big deal that you actually got units with good pips when you Westernized. That's not the case anymore. When you Westernize now, you don't get any different units at all. It just You just tech up faster. Back up to speed four. Oh yeah, fortify cape. Thank you. I forgot. General has died. That's okay. Okay, sail on. Ooh, Austria is supporting the independence of Muscovy. Interesting. I'm going to improve relations as well. What I'm thinking is we might break our alliances with Poland and Scandinavia and go with Muscovy as our ally instead. Because if we go for Muscovy as our ally, we could get a um, an achievement called Guarantor of Peace, where you guarantee France, Ottomans, and Russia. Muscovy doesn't count; it has to be Russia. So if he if we can if we can ally Muscovy, get him independent, and get him to. Uh, eat enough land to form Russia, then we could guarantee him as well. Guarantee your peace would be a good achievement. Oh, Syria is not even annexing. Is there a statesman available? Yeah. Now are you annexing? Yes, you are. Okay. Aren't the troops stronger compared to Western troops? No, they're not. No, they're not. Western troops are better. This is just hilarious. Portugal, Scotland, and all these people up here kicking ass. Okay, Poland wants me to help against Muscovy. And I think this is where the point where I say, sorry, Poland, no. Yeah, sorry, Poland. Aw, sad face, Poland. Alright. Um, that gets rid of one relationship. Let's get an alliance with Muscovy. Before he changes his mind. Oh, we have to wait a fucking month. No!
Yay, cores. Oh shit, 98,000 troops. Oops. Yeah, spread out a bit. <laughs> okay, our attrition, our exhaustion's finally going down. Good. Okay, I'm concerned here. If I if I ally him, he might call me into the war. And I really don't want him to call me into the war. Yeah, I'll hold off. I think I might switch my alliances away from France and Poland to Austria and Muscovy. We'll see. Let's supply or not let's uh raise the maintenance on our armies a little bit. I want to get them reinforcing. Okay, revolt risk is going down. Good. How far away from tech up? 483. Alright, so about four years from tech. That's fine. Hello, CG. Oh, you can hear the plumbing? Yeah, sorry. Upstairs neighbor plumbing is nice and loud. Oh, just a heads up. I plan on moving in a couple months. Let's see. Uh, April, May, June, July. Yeah, probably towards the end of June. So about two months from now, I'm going to be moving. And if that goes well then I won't have loud upstairs neighbor plumbing anymore. Yay! I'm looking forward to that. Spain has allied Poland. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, Russia wants this alliance. Good. Uh, as soon as his war is over, I'll go ahead and ally him. I don't want him to call me into his war. Our truce with Japan is up. Perfect. So we can go get that last silk province over there. Okay, finished our mission for Cape Colony. Next up, Marriage with Ternate, that's not happening. Prove the defenses of Chongqing, that's a good one. Chongqing, please improve defenses. For the low, low cost of 75 ducats, you can get 25 military points, which is really good. Uh, it costs you 10 military no, it costs you 10 military points to build the building, but you get 25 back, so it's a net gain of 15. It's pretty good. Shen, can you explain the game to newcomers? Wow. Well, if you've played stuff like Civilization or Total War, it's kind of a mixture of those games. Um, a little more complex than both of those, but along the same vein. It takes a, a long time to play this game, somewhere between um, 15 days to a month to probably play a complete game, if you're playing it a couple hours a day. It takes a while to play. Revolts in Ahmadabad and Obdorsk. Okay, well. Obdorsk I can handle. Where's Obdorsk? That's up here, right? Yeah. Where's Ahmadabad? That's, uh... Here. Yeah. Wow, I actually knew where both of those were. Amazing. Actually, why don't you go to Obdorsk? That's not that far away. And you can just stay over here doing whatever you're doing. Protect the colonies. Uh, this game takes place from 1444 to 1821. It's a specific set of 380 years, and uh, the days tick by, the, or the, the calendar ticks by one day at a time. 
and the days get slower as you get later in the game because there's more stuff going on. But it's a very complex game. Not the easiest game to get into. The tutorials aren't fantastic, but they're passable. You can play any nation in the world. Most nations will have specific specific historical things that they can do um, along those 380 years that the that the game courses through. Um, you don't fight battles you don't fight battles on the field of battle like you do in Total War and you also don't have incredibly stupid diplomacy like you do in um, Civilization. It's kind of you're kind of missing out on the the um, combat aspect of Total War, but you're gaining on the diplomacy. It's really, really good diplomatically. It's a lot more in-depth than those games, than uh, Civ or Total War, but those are the closest games to it. I know the timer's up. I know. I want to kill this revolt first. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to get piety. Whoops. Rip. Hurry up. Go to Obdorsk. We didn't get there fast enough, but they're just peasants. Wait a minute. Did they not spawn in Obdorsk? Oh, they didn't even spawn. <laughs> they didn't even spawn in Obdorsk. It was a lie. All right, switch a general down there. Actually, why don't you head over to China? I'm going to need more troops over here anyway. Especially for UA. How's the cores coming? Almost there. Yeah, it's about time to declare on England, I think. But that's going to have to wait till next episode. So thank you guys for joining me. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time. Where we'll grab an alliance with Muscovy. And we're going to declare on England. And the point of English war is to take London. We can't take it in the first war. It's going to have to be the second war. Wow, 14 base stacks. Um, so in the first war, we're going to take the lands that touch London, which is Oxford, Essex, and Kent. Once we have those three, then we can take as capital in the following war. But that'll have to be next time. So I'll see you then. Have a good day. Man, what a good peace deal for us.